Well, there's a lot of explanations put forward for that. One of the concepts that that's, there, that's out there is that pancreas cancer is an immune privileged uh, tumor and that the effector T cells are absent or present at low levels in the microenvironment and that the immune cells that are present are, are regulatory or suppressive immune cells, not immune effector T cells. So there are immune cells present, but they're the wrong immune cells and there's small numbers of the right ones. So strategies, and there are many examples of this that are underway, are trying to alter this microenvironment to allow effector T cells in, uh, to allow other drugs in, and in that way to try and overcome some of the inherent resistance to immune therapies that have been observed. And so for example, there are strategies of combining checkpoints, single agent checkpoints have had limited impact, using radiation or even chemotherapy as a, an antigen presentation strategy, uh, looking at combining checkpoint drugs with antibodies that alter the microenvironments, uh, so I think it's very interesting what's happening and hopefully we'll have a sense over the next year, two years, uh, as to which approach of these looks to be most promising. Another example is combining uh, immune therapies together with vaccines, uh, maybe another uh, path forward. So it's exciting in that there's a lot happening, but I don't think we have one clear strategy as yet uh, that's going to take the field forward in pancreas cancer.